हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू पावर प्लांट गुरु एंड ए वेरी हैप्पी दिवाली टू ऑल ऑफ यू एज वी आर रिकॉर्डिंग आवर वीडियो ऑन दिवाली स्टे सो फ्रेंड्स वी आर नाउ वर्किंग ऑन गैस्टर्ब एंड प्रोटेक्शन पार्ट थ्री वीडियो एंड वी हैव ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड टू ऑफ दीज वीडियोज वेयर वी आर एक्सप्लेनिंग pre ignition trip so this is the third and last video in pre ignition trip knowledge series so let us continue and uh, watch that video welcome friends to power plant guru youtube channel friends i am a mechanical engineer with around 20 years of experience in the field of power plant and i used to create small fundamental knowledge series videos for power plant engineers we also run doubt clearing sessions on weekends so if you want to reach us you can reach us through comment section and join our weekend classes let us continue to watch our today's video So friends, uh, uh, gas turbine trips. There are different kinds of trips, and we have covered that already in previous video. You can find those videos in the description link, or you can go to the playlist as well. So there are uh, like uh, pre ignition, post ignition, protective system, IGB, and customer trip. If any one of these are active, it go and latch the master protective trip signal and if this signal is true the gas turbine trips so we are going to talk about only this pre ignition trip part in this video and after that we will cover different uh, uh, sections in subsequent video so pre ignition trip may be because of all these signals l3 acs 28 fdx qel fig predx so uh, up to here we have created a different uh, two videos we have covered in that those two videos we have covered these these are related to sgcv srv uh position feedback versus command mismatch and uh, eop mcc uh, feedback and the ignition timer failure to ignite so all these logics we have covered in past two videos you can find those videos if you watch want to watch that so another thing is that this l4 pretx which comprises of uh, 3 to 4 uh, uh, different parts so that is why i wanted to make a different video on that so that you get not uh, cannot uh, get confused with that so now l4 pretx so here are different component where you can see l4 pretx is uh, all about so first we will talk about l86 fpg2ih so you may need not to remember the different tags but i am telling you the key concept so p2 pressure if you know about p2 pressure uh, you must be knowing if you are working in a plant so a p2 pressure let me just uh, give a, a kind of quick recap so there is a gcv and srv connection uh, control valves so first will be srv followed by that will be sorry and then it goes to gas turbine combustion system and here uh, the whatever the pressure is there that we call as a p1 pressure this is called as a p2 pressure which is after srv so if your machine is about to start then this srv should be closed right before startup it has to be closed 
and then this pressure has to be uh, because there is a vent also so this pressure has to be zero somewhat zero but if your this pressure is higher that means that there are some gas is passing from this valve right so that is a hazardous condition and for that protection uh, uh, this this uh, protection is given where there is a constant kf2 gih kfp g2ih that uh, there is some constant control constant and uh, machine watch that the p2 pressure should not be higher than this for a healthy condition <laughs> but in case when p2 pressure is higher than this constant then it detect there is unhealthy situation and it uh, trigger this l4 pretx which causes this uh, uh, pre ignition trip and which causes the master protective uh, system and goes for a pre ignition trip hope you have understood the next uh, uh, is another protection which is uh, similar but uh, here it is P2 pressure is increasing with SRV closed and it is higher than 0.75 times of 20 bar so this may be 20 bar for one machine may be 21 for different machine so it is also a similar protection where this P2 pressure it keeps on watching and if it goes beyond uh, your uh, uh, 20 bar seems to be normal operating pressure and it says that if your uh, pressure is already 75 percent of normal operating pressure when this valve is already closed that is a unhealthy condition and then it also gives your l4 pretx which goes for pre-ignition trip and master protective system the third one is you related to your uh, hazardous gas sensors so you might be aware that uh, there are different uh, mod uh, compartments or module in gas turbine one being uh, uh, a gas valve module or someone say gas compartment where this GCV, SRV valves are located. So these may have your hazardous sensor, has gas. And another may be your turbine compartment. So these may have your hazardous gas sensors. Because there is a pro probability of flange leakage or gland leakages from the gas uh, system. Otherwise, accessory compartment and generator compartment don't have any gas lines. <coughs> so, uh, uh, it is very important to check for hazardous gas detection in these two areas. And there are different sensors to monitor that. And uh, that is why it is saying that if you have two sensors and both the sensors are more than 7% value, that means there is some leakage. And due to that leakage, your machine should not further proceed for startup. So then you have a pre-ignition trip. So both sensors are showing that that means there is a definite leakage. Or there is another case that if one sensor is showing 7% more than 7% and another sensor is in fault. So that means it may be 7% more than 7% or whatever it may be. So that is why when this is out, one sensor is out, then it is relying on the other sensor and understanding that the faulty one is already in a risky zone so that to keep your machine safe. So uh, these two conditions I am repeating, if both the sensors are more than 7% or one sensor is more than 7% and other is in fault. So that gives us uh, that gives a sense of that there is some hazardous gas leakages in turbine compartment or gas wall module and which may also which should also lead to this L4 PRTX and ultimately it should lead to machine trip. And the next would be your L3 CP that is a customer trip when there is a only single consumer to your gas turbine 
whether be any load or whether be any kind of let's say compressor you are driving or anything where there is a only single customer so they take that sensor trip also that if this customer is all already getting trip there is no consumer then the machine should not uh, get a healthy start signal going on so that is the customer trip the next one is l86 qe so if you uh, know that uh, qe is stands for eop and eop is a dc drive so uh, during machine startup that you, uh, your dc uh, lube valve pump starts and if you uh, know that uh, uh, during startup of any dc drive there are certain resistance that get into uh, picture or get into line one step after the other step after the one step like that so they this, the machine would check that uh, your all that resistance are getting into line one by one within stipulated time or not that will check the healthiness of your system and that is why it is checking that the first step timer and the second step timer should cut in that specified limit so it check that your uh, emergency oil pump is getting started in a stipulated time frame and if that is not so that gives a sense of that your emergency oil pump has some problem and that again gives your this l4 pretx which is going to your uh, trip condition pre ignition trip rather so uh, uh, with this we have covered the pre ignition trip section and all uh, in three videos this is the last video and uh, there are two other videos i have already uploaded so i uh, uh, understand that i have uh, given my efforts to explain and try to make you understand and if you still have some questions and uh, then you probably can ask me in the comment section i will try to reply i could not reply to comment because i was not well for a few days so now i am getting back and i uh, will try to uh, respond to queries and comments thank you for watching power plant guru my video thank you very much